Hi there and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of Gore-Tex. Hopefully this short video is going to demonstrate and explain what Gore-Tex is, how it works and uh, why it's better than uh, other traditional waterproof fabrics. Now Gore-Tex is usually actually laminated with other high performance textiles like Cordura. These layers are then sealed together and this is what gives Gore-Tex its waterproof guarantee. Uh, Gore-Tex's secret itself lies in its bicomponent membrane. Now the PTFE portion of this membrane houses millions and millions of microscopic pores. Each one of these pores is about 20,000 times smaller than a water molecule, but 700 times larger than water vapour. So water can't penetrate the Gore-Tex, but with your hand heating up the water, the vapour can leave. And this keeps your hand or your body dry, depending on what part of clothing you have that uh, contains Gore-Tex. Makes your ride much more enjoyable and much more comfortable. I have got a small demonstration to do for you. Uh, ignore the kitchen paper, that's just for me because I can tend to be messy. Uh, got a glass tumbler, a small pocket of Gore-Tex I'm going to place on the top and a, a pre-boiled kettle. So basically what I'm going to do is, is fill up this pouch with water and uh, when I ask my cameraman to zoom in, what you'll see is the size of the tumbler actually steaming up, but the water itself won't penetrate it, and that, that obviously explains and demonstrates there exactly what Gore-Tex is all around. The only time I think that this won't be true is if you're uh, using heated grips on your bike. Uh, as I said, your hand heats up the water, which causes it to turn into a vapour, allowing it to leave. Now if you're doing that but then you've got this exactly the same forces coming back the other way, i.e. your heated grips causing water to heat up and pass the other way through the Gore-Tex, you may get that water build up, you're not going to get the benefits of someone who isn't uh, using the, the heated grips themselves. Gore-Tex combat this by recommending that all Gore-Tex products for thermal capabilities should be used using a, uh, a thermal base layer. Uh, as with kids, you know, you, you wouldn't want your kid going out in one thick layer of clothing. You want them to put kind of lots of little layers on and each layer traps that pocket of air which heats up uh, using your body and keeps you much, much warmer. Gore-Tex works exactly the same. So what they're saying is that your hand generates heat, you put the liner on which creates one pocket of air, you know, and then you, then you put your glove on which is again made of various layers itself. So all these different layers act as thermal pockets uh, but without affecting the, the functionality of the Gore-Tex itself. Uh, keeping you dry. Alright, let's give this uh, demonstration a go. So hopefully I won't make too much of a mess. Just pour this water in. So I've filled that nearly to the top and straight away you can see there the top part of that glass steaming up. But uh, if I just wobble this table so you can see the water moving still inside which proves uh, it's not actually penetrating the Gore-Tex. And as it cools down, it'll go lower and lower down to the glass. Then we can just see condensation starting to form there as it cools. Uh, it really is that simple. I think it's very, very clever. Uh, a lot of people are put off by Gore-Tex uh, when they see the price of some of it, but this has hopefully demonstrated why it's the price it is, and it is much superior to traditional waterproof uh, materials. And anyone that's already using Gore-Tex, I'm sure will vouch for that as well. I'm just going to tip this, uh, this little pocket back out so you can see that the actual water is still in there. There we go, and I didn't make too much of a mess either. There we go, that's it. Gore-Tex, waterproof and breathable and is available in clothing stocks right now at Sports Bike Shop. Thanks for watching.